guys welcome welcome to bookmas day five i'm so excited for today's video because today we are going to arrange my bookshelves i'm bored of the way they look and i want to change them but we're also going to decorate my room christmasy but also some stuff that i've bought to make my room a little more cute i also want to try and finish my hairy wall that's not the final product that i want for my room but also i don't have some posters that i want to put up but whatever today we're going to arrange my whole room together and i'm gonna give you a tour at the end so first things first i need to clean my room it is messy so i'm gonna arrange my bed going to clean up my desk and then we can take out all the books and start brainstorming on how to put it and also decorating it then we're going to work with the walls and how that is gonna look so i'm so excited i hope you enjoyed today's video so let's start Okay, now that I took all the stuff from my bed and my desk, we're gonna take out all my books, we're gonna put it in my bed, and we're gonna figure out what are we going to do about that. All my books are on my bed. I'm gonna stare at the bookshelf and see what we come up with. The first time I made these shelves, I uploaded that video here on my channel, but we had fantasy up here, then we had romances. Here we had this side was hardbacks and this side was my favorite series. Then here we had thrillers and YA, and here we had books that I had no idea where to put. So after that video, I've accumulated some books, not that many, probably 10, 15 books-ish. I don't know how to arrange it. I think I'm gonna go to Pinterest and see if I can come up with some inspiration. Another thing that I have to put in my shelves is these little Christmas trees. I showed you guys in the vlog where I went shopping but here there are a lot of colors we have pink ones green different types of green blue i'm gonna put some here some on my desk and i'm gonna save some for my living room so these are some of the decorations we can put here i also have these disco balls that have lights on them but i have to figure out if they're easy to put or how they work but i'm gonna open them and see if we can put it here if they don't work there we're gonna put it on my walls maybe on my window i have to buy a curtain for my windows i have i've had the time but every time i go shopping i just forget this is how they look like they're so pretty let me see if they have battery or yeah it's battery Fuck, i don't have batteries but if they have battery they will be easier to put in my shelves i would have bought another one i thought this was gonna be bigger this is how they look untangled maybe we can put it i'm so bad at decorating literally my my house is so empty because i don't know how to decorate but maybe if we put them like here mm -mm, no I think I'm just gonna put them on my curtains or on my wall. Maybe in this wall. I'm gonna figure this out later because I'm gonna get frustrated. So first things first, we're gonna make my bookshelf. When it comes to cleaning and organizing, I'm the most indecisive person ever because I want to make my bookshelves, but I also want to decorate my walls first. And I bought this cute... I don't know how this is called. Quadro. How do you say quadro in English? Frame? I don't know. I, I bought this cute painting. Two bookshelves. Two bookshelves. Two boots. And they remind me so much of one of my favorite series that I need to buy the physical copy of because I've read them in Kindle Limited. It's the Chestnut Spring series. Also, they remind me also of Taylor Swift. So my room is gonna be decorated fangirly. I'm 23 and I'm doing this. But this is my room. My room with my boyfriend is another room. Oh, I can't. So I'm gonna, do I decorate my walls first and then the bookshelves? No, because I need to get up here and my books are there. What do I do guys? 
now that I got the that thing out, the real question is where do I put this? Because I have this wall and I also have a little corner right here, but that is where the door is, so it's not gonna go look good. And we also have that other wall where my cherry is. This doesn't have anything, that's where the air conditioner is. And we also have that wall, but I want this near my bookshelves. And I don't want to move my bookshelf because I don't have anywhere else to put it. Back to the bookshelves. I'm doing my bookshelves first and then the walls. So I think here on my top shelf, I'm going to put some of my favorite romances. Then I'm going to change my here for my favorite fantasy series. Here is going to be, I'm going to leave my hardbacks here and put some decorations to the side. But I'm going to change my romances to the top fantasies here. And I'm going to change like the orders because now I have some completed series. Not going to look like before. And now they're gonna have a little Christmas tree. Okay, that looks horrible. And now I have another idea because I have different colors from the trees and I think I'm gonna make a color coordinated bookshelf because I have white trees, I have green trees, blue trees, pink trees. So I think I'm gonna add a color of the tree that matches. But I'm gonna make series stick together. I can't deal with not having series together. So let's take this out again and we're gonna pick my pink books. Guys, my heart literally left my body because once I pressed pause in that time lapse, this book, now it's different, but this book, this was here. So when this fall and I did this, that fall, so I literally had to grab it while I was almost falling and my heart left my body. So I decided to change this one here in the middle because I'm gonna make the top shelf from my favorite series or some series that I wanna keep together. So that's what we're gonna do there and let's do that. Now that my bookshelves are already done, I'll show them to you in a bit, but I have some pictures I want to put in my wall and after I put these, we can make final tour. No, after that, I'm gonna make my bed. After I make my bed, I can give you the tour, but this first. <laughs> Hey guys, I just finished my room. It's time for a tour. We're gonna start with the bookshelves because you can already see them. So let's start. Here we have some fantasy series that I wanted to keep together. I added that little tree, which I love. I'm obsessed. And we have the Akatar series, some of the Throne of Glass books because I don't have them all, Six of Crows and Carvel and the Shatter Me series. I don't have the Shatter Me series books completed because I DNF'd the second. So I'm just trying to be in the mood to finish it and then I can accumulate the others. But that's the top shelf. I added this here on top because I wanted to add it to my wall but couldn't find a way to hang it. So that's, so that's gonna be a problem for another day. Then we have the blue bookshelf. Here we have all of the books that have blue on them. And this little tree here in the camera looks black but it's actually blue. And I added my Harry Polaroid, some romances. These are mostly romances here we have some colleen hoover books not because i love them but because it's from the same author I have the naturals that's the only book that is not a romance but i have archer's voice ali hazelwood books i also have the two books from the off campus series i have my cup from when i went to love and tour then here it's i think my favorite bookshelf here we have my pink romance books i have before we're strangers hannah grace books and another ali hazelwood book my Once Upon a Broken Heart copies, I put it, my heart covers, my pink heart covers together and my favorite series ever, The Boys of Tommen and here, this doesn't go there I have a pink Christmas tree, which I am obsessed with this shelf. I think this is my favorite. Then here is where it's going downhill because I wanted to make an all white and crema. I don't know how to say crema 
in English, but the, the color from the tree. I wanted to make that shelf with those colors. And then I realized that I don't have many white books. So I added some orange books, some yellow books. And that is what this shelf is. I have romances. I also have some fiction. I have thrillers, just white books and the others. I... I'm not proud of this shelf, but we have that. And then another mess of a shelf. I have the Inheritance Game series together. Also the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Some black books. I wanted to make this the black bookshelf, but again, I don't have a lot of black books. So these are some romances right here. And I put it those two right there because those are hardcovers and I had no idea where to put them. So I just put the tree on top and yeah. These two bookshelves I'm not proud of, but these I'm obsessed. So that is how my bookshelves look. I just love this part. Here it goes downhill. So from prettier to uglier, but my favorite is this bookshelf, the pink bookshelf. I really love it. So yeah, this is how it looks for now. Probably gonna change it when Christmas is over. But yeah, now I'm gonna show you my bedside. Okay, this is how my wall looks. My hairy pictures are all over there. I have some references to some of these songs, some cherries. Everything that is not Harry's face is something related to him or to his songs. So I need to still finish this wall. I want some posters. I want more posters to be added, but for now, that is all I have. And then we have my bed. This is my new bestie, my new Squishmallow. I showed you guys in another vlog, but I'm obsessed with him or her. I don't know which one is he yet, but this is my bed. Wait, let me get the ring light out. This is my bed. I bought this blanket and it's so soft and so pretty. And I think this is what adds that Christmassy look to my room because I didn't buy that many decor. And then I added the disco balls right here. I still need to buy a curtain. I think I'm gonna buy a white curtain, but I added the mirror balls there and it looks so cute if it had curtains, but I just hang them there, put some thingies, holders, whatever they are called. And yeah, I just put it right there there is my cherry light i don't know and this is my desk i have my two cups one from taylor the other from levanteur this because this reminds me of one of harry's outfits i need to get that out of there but i put this other blanket there that i had i didn't know where to put it so i just hung it there and these two cutie trees so that's how it looks my desk really simple so this is how it turned out i'm really happy with the results and yeah i wanted to hang the mirror balls closer to here but i had no idea where to put them but yeah this is my bed this is my bookshelf this is my wall my baby and yeah i'm so happy with the results. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any comments or suggestion about how to arrange my bookshelf to look more cutie, let me know in the comments. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. I really hope you're enjoying Bookmas so far. And yeah, that will be it for me today. Now I'm gonna read my current read. I'm currently reading Once Upon a Broken Heart. So this has to come out because I'm reading it. And yeah, that will be it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.